Okay, so I was reading about this story on an airsoft forum. Uh, this video is basically for airsofters. Uh, there's this guy who got his eye shot out. I don't know if it actually came out, but he got a, a BB in his eye, caused him some, uh, you know, serious injury uh, because uh, he had taken off his um, his goggles and he was wiping sweat from his eye. And uh, meanwhile, one of his uh, teammates was uh, doing a mag change. Uh, the way they explained it is that he had his finger on the trigger uh, and the BB fired, ricocheted, hit the guy in the eye. And uh, so, of course, this guy doesn't have an eye or, you know, has a serious eye injury right now. Uh, here's the thing about, and I've seen it too at, in Airsoft, um, you know, you got to treat your Airsoft G GBBR just like you are, would treat an actual firearm. Now, I see guys that will do mag changes and not use the select fire to place the gun back on safe. Here's the rules. Look, if you're not actively shooting that gun, it should be on safe. Okay, if you're doing a mag exchange, it should be on safe. Okay, uh, guys go out and spend all kinds of money on helmets and, and goggles and, and tactical gear and mock up, you know, accessories for the guns and everything and, you know, uniforms and, you know, tactical vests and side holsters and all that stuff. But uh, if you really want to be tactical, uh, learn to actually operate the gun properly see that kind of stuff will not fly in a real firearms world you know again if the gun is not being actively fired should be on safe if you're doing a mag change that gun should be on safe okay anytime you're not actually shooting that gun it should be on safe anyway this is a public service announcement from samurai jutsu and uh hope you take it to heart